Hello everyone, this is Ricardo. I thought I'd take a look at Sherlock by Melbourne House. Now this was a game that came out shortly after The Hobbit. The Hobbit was the quintessential adventure on the ZX Spectrum in my honest opinion. And this is very much sort of in the same vein, though this time putting you um, in command as it were of Sherlock Holmes, the world's perhaps best and well-known detective. So, the sun streams in the two broad windows in your sitting room. There is a pipe rack to the right of the sofa, a bullet pock marks are the feature of one wall, and charts and diagrams fill another. An acid-stained table sits in the corner to the west. There is your door. To the north there is a plain door. You can see an oil lamp, your armchair and Watson's armchair. In Watson's armchair there is Watson. Watson is carrying the Daily Chronicle and looks up from the paper and says, Good morning, Holmes. Say to Watson. Hello. You talk to Watson. Watson says hello. So now we've spoken to Watson, so he's more likely to do what what we want him to do, I'd imagine. So let's open the plain door. Open the plain door. Now the plain door is to the north, so we'll head north. You're in a small closet. To the south there is a plain door. You can see a Chinaman's disguise and an old man's disguise. Take China. Man's. Check the man's disguise, great. Okay, let's take the old man. Oh, you see no man. Okay, we've got, we've got to do it. Wear old man's disguise. You wear the old man's disguise. Take off the old man's disguise. Okay, doing an inventory now. We're carrying a Chinaman's disguise, money, and an old man's disguise. And that's great. So let's go south and go back into our sitting room. Watson is still with the paper. Let's take the lamp that is also there. Let's look, look. Let's have a look round the room. Let's wait. Watson, with an excited look on his face, says, Well, here's a case that may interest you. It seems that two close friends, a Mrs. Brown and a Mrs. Jones, were murdered last night in separate incidents, although apparently with the same weapon. The crimes occurred at their respective homes in the township of Leatherhead, and because of the lack of a murder weapon and apparent motive, the local police are completely baffled. They have called upon Scotland Yard for assistance, and it appears that the famed detective... Inspector Giles Lestrade has taken an interest in the case and will be going to the scene this morning. So, we need to be on our way. Say to Watson, drop paper. He's not going to do it. Say to Watson, drop Chronicle. Oh. Drop Chronicle. And we just dropped the Daily Chronicle. That's fantastic. We've got our lamp. Say to Watson. Follow me. Let's open my door. Oh, look. So we need to go to... Right, open our doors, west. Open my door. Door. Open the door, west. Now, you're in a hall. To the east, there is your door. Below, there is a stairway. We're going to go down. And 
here's something that I couldn't quite work out when I was playing the game years and years ago. They draw a picture of the stairwell, but not Holmes and Watson's flat. Hey, anyway, memory was scarce. Scarce. So, you're in an entrance hallway. Above there is the stairway. To the south there is the front door. Watson enters. Open front door. Okay, open the front door and we're gonna go south. So we've got outside of Baker Street. You're on Baker Street. To the north there is the front door and Watson enters. Right, so we need to get to Leatherhead Station now. So we're gonna hail a cab. You hail the handsome cab. Hello, Governor, the cabbie remarks to you. Say to Cabby, hello. You talk to the Cabby. The Cabby says, hello. Climb into Cab. Now Watson should follow us. He does. Brilliant. Okay, say to Cabby, go to King's Cross Road. I've spelled cabby wrong. Go to King's Cross Road. This is frustrating. Say to cabby. Go to King's Cross Road. My typing is terrible today. So we're saying the cabby go to King's Cross Road. You talk to the cabby. You're in the handsome cab with Watson and the cabby. You are travelling the streets of London in a handsome cab. The sun shines through the windows on your face. Now, the plan here is to wait until we reach our destination. As you can see, it's all about the time as well. So it's 8.43 a.m. 8.45 is what we need. Right. You're in a handsome cab. The handsome cab is in King's Cross Road. Visible exits are northeast. Right, Governor. That will be 6D. Give money to cabby. You give your money to the cabbie. The cabbie pays five pound four to you. Brilliant. So, climb out of cab. You're out of the cab, and so is Watson. Now let's look. You see exits northeast. So let's go northeast. You go northeast. You're at King's Cross Station. Visible exits are southwest and northeast. So, northeast again then. You go northeast. You're on a platform of one of King's Cross Station. Visible exits are southwest or northeast. Well, I'll be northeast again then. Watson is with us. You go northeast. You're at platform two of King's Cross Station. Visible exits are southwest and northeast. Well, a steam train has entered. It's northeast again. And we're at platform three of King's Cross Station. Visible exits are southwest and northeast. You see Inspector Lestrade. He is carrying some money. Inspector Lestrade, with a surprised look on his face, says, Well, Holmes, fancy seeing you here. Watson enters. Watson says to Inspector Lestrade, hello. Inspector Lestrade says to Watson, good morning. Let's say to Lestrade, hello. You talk to us, Lestrade. Always nice to be polite, you see. So 
So let's wait now. And wait again. A steam train enters. Inspector Lestrade climbs into the steam train. Okay. Climb into train. Here we go. So now we're on the train. Let's wait. You wait. You've got to wait again. It's going to be a long journey. The train pulls out of the station. You're in a steam train with Inspector Lestrade and Watson. Inspector Lestrade is carrying some money. You are riding in a steam train through the picturesque English countryside. Now we have to wait to around 10 o'clock where we get to Leatherhead. Now, using the commas is an old trick I remember from The Hobbit. Okay. Wait again. Wait. Wait. It's a slow train. Let's look. We're still in a steam train. We're hammering through the picturesque countryside we're still waiting wait oh, come on we get leatherhead how far is it from from king's cross station here we go something's happened you're in a steam train with inspector lestrade and watson inspector lestrade is carrying some many you're at platform one of leatherhead station visible exits are south and north inspector lestrade climbs out of the steam train Inspector Lestrade goes south. Let's climb out of steam train. We come up the steam train. He went south. That's where we need to go. You go south. You're at the Leatherhead station. Visible exits are south and north. We've just come south. We want to go north. You can see Inspector Lestrade and Chief Constable Straker. Inspector Lestrade is carrying some many, still. Inspector Lestrade remarks to the Chief Constable Straker, Well then, show me to the Browns estate, please. Inspector Lestrade says, Chief Constable Straker, I would like you to meet Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes, this is Chief Constable Straker. Watson answers. Watson says, this is Chief Constable Straker. Hello. Chief Constable Straker goes south. Inspector Lestrade also goes south let's go south you are in the main street visible exits are northwest east and south northeast you can see inspector lestrade lestrade is carrying some many and he goes west so we're now at west and it's obviously drawing a house you're at the Browns front gate. Visible exits are south and east. You can see Inspector Lestrade and a local policeman. Inspector Lestrade is carrying many. Still, he hasn't been mugged. Watson extras and Inspector Lestrade goes south. South it is then. Well, actually, we can say to the policeman, hello. Hello. And he says hello. Right, so we want to go south. You go south. You're on a garden path. Visible exits are north, south, southwest, and east. You can see Inspector Lestrade. Inspector Lestrade is still carrying his money, and he goes southwest. Southwest it is then. You go southwest. You are on a winding garden path. Visible exits are north, east, and south. You can see Inspector Lestrade. Inspector Lestrade is carrying some money, and he goes south. We're going to follow him. You go south. You're on a winding garden path. Visible exits are north, southwest, southeast. You can see Lestrade. Lestrade is still carrying money, and he goes southwest. Okay, where are we now?
You are on the west side. To the east, there is a sandstone bridge. To the northwest, there is a deep stream. Visible exits are north and northeast. You can see Inspector Lestrade. Inspector Lestrade goes east. Watson's entered. East it is. Cool, look at those graphics. So, some more drawing. You are now on the east side. To the west there is a sandstone bridge. To the north there is a deep stream. Visible exits are southeast. You can see Lestrade, Chief Constable Straker and a female corpse. Inspector Lestrade is carrying some many. On the female corpse there is a crumpled note. Lestrade examines the note. Lestrade says to you, Good morning. Watson enters. Straker says to you, Good morning. He says to Watson, hello, and Inspector Lestrade examines the crumpled note. Say to straight to Straker, hello. So, there you go. He says, good morning. Right, okay. So, what we want to do now is... Examine corpse. You examine the female corpse. You see the body of a middle-aged woman. Her face is streaked with dried blood. Examine note. You examine the crumple note. It reads, meet me by the bridge at half past twelve. I have some very important news. Let's closely examine bridge you see a sandstone bridge close inspection reveals a small chip in the stonework that is evidently quite new well 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 it looks like a heavy metallic object has struck it inspector lestrade enters have your men searched the river for a gun yet straker responds yes inspector but unfortunately, nothing was found. Well, no surprise there. So, we want to go... Let's have a look now. Visible exits are south-east. There it is then, southeast. You're in a winding garden path. Lestrade goes east. You're on the south side. To the north there's a footbridge. To the southeast is a deep stream. Exits are west. You can see a Lestrade. Lestrade examines the footbridge. Let's closely Examine footbridge and the strad's gone north. North it is then. You're on the north side. To the south there is a footbridge. To the northeast there is a deep stream. Visible exits are northwest and north. Watson enters. North. You go north. And you're back on the garden path. Can we go northeast? We can't go northeast. Let's go northwest. Let's go northeast. Southeast. Okay. Let's go south. You're on the north side. Hmm. So the northeast, there's a deep stream. Let's go northeast. Look at this deep stream. I cannot go northeast. Examine stream. 
you see a deep stream. Can we go south? You go south. We're on the south side. Let's look and get a good idea. You can see Wetson, Watson. West. It's winding Garden Path. West. We see Straker and the Strad. Okay, so then from the corpse. We should then go west, north, north, northeast, on the garden path, south, and we're at the front door, the Browns front door, as is the Browns estate. So we've wumbled around all the way around here and now we finally got to their front door not to worry let's open the large front door open door oh open door you open the large oak door so the strad enters so let's go south you're in an entrance hall to the east, there is a heavy oak door. To the north, there is a large oak door. To the south, there is a wide stairway. The Strad and Straker and Watson enters. Open. Heavy. Door. So the door is now open. Let's go east. You go east. You're in the sitting room. To the west, there is a heavy oak door. To the south, there is the dining room. You can see Daphne Strachan, Basil Phipps, and a plush sofa. Watson enters. Straker and Lestrade also enter. So we wait. Chief Constable Straker closes the heavy oak door, and the Constable Straker says, Inspector Lestrade, Inspector! I would like you to meet Basil Phipps and Daphne Strachan. Basil, Daphne, this is Inspector Lestrade from Scotland Yard. Inspector Lestrade remarks to Daphne Strachan, Tell me about what happened. Daphne Strachan remarks to Inspector Lestrade, Unfortunately, I do not know very much since the first I knew of this horrible deed was when the police arrived and Constable Straker knocked on my bedroom door. Who were Mrs. At this, Daphne breaks down and starts to cry. It's terrible. Just terrible. They're as guilty as sin. Inspector Lestrade remarks to Basil, Tell me your alibi. Basil Phipps remarks to the Inspector, Inspector Lestrade, well, I was in my bedroom at the house when I am I am renting down the road. I stayed up quite late playing Chopin on the piano, or Chopin, and then went to bed. Daphne Strachan steams at a loss, looking forlorn and crying quietly to herself. Right. Say to D-A-P-H-N-E, Daphne. Hello. I would like you to remain here, please, Inspector Lestrade remarks to Chief Constable Straker. Chief Constable, I will see the staff now. The Chief Constable Straker opens the dining room door and Daphne says good morning. So, we say to Daphne, tell me about Trisha Fender. You talk to Daphne Strachan. Straker goes through the door. Say to Daphne, tell me about, now the plod's gone, Trisha Fender. Okay, it's not going to work. <clears throat> Let's try again. 
I say to Daphne. Patricia Fender. Oh, good God. So we went south. Tell me about, let's spell it right this time, P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A. -I -I okay. Now, nope. say to D A P H N E. Tell me about Trisha Fender. She's not giving anything up, is she? Say to D A P H N E. Stephanie. Hello. Oh. It's all about manners. Tell me about Trisha Fender. Ah, here we go. You talk to Daphne Strachan. Daphne Strachan remarks to you, she was Mrs. Brown's secretary before he died. Mr. Brown's secretary before he died. I think she was a single and I do not think she ever married. It's funny you should mention her. We always used to say how alike and she and poor Mrs. Jones were. As far as I know, she lives in Portman Street in London. Right, let's say to Basil hello now. Oh, say to Basil, hello. Okay, he says, good morning. Say to Basil, tell me about your address. go his address in london i live in camden street at leatherhead i stay at a rented house in cobden lane okay open dining room door okay the door is open south let's open i go south You're in the dining room you can see lestrade straker He's carrying money. Good morning. Closes the plane door. And he goes through the dining room door. Open. Plane. Door. So let's go west. You go west. You're in a large kitchen. To the east there is a plane door. Visible exits are west. You can see the gardener, the cook and the maid. And then Watson enters. So let's say to cook. Hello. You talk to the cook. Say hello. Say to cook. Tell me about Basil. The cook remarks to you, well, I do not like to speak ill of anyone, but I did overhear Basil and Daphne arguing very strongly about Mrs. Brown's will. There's always money involved. 
It seems that because of Daphne's alliance with Basil, Mrs. Brown had cut her out of the will. I do not think she thought very well of him. You reckon? So, who else is here? The gardener. Say to gardener. Hello. You say hello to the gardener. Say to gardener. Right. Tell me about Major. Who the hell's the Major? The gardener says to you, I always thought that he was such a nice fellow, but last week I was doing some work at Mrs. Jones's and I could not help overhear her and the Major fighting. I don't know what it was all about, but it was nasty. But, we haven't spoken to the maid. Say to maid. Hello. Good morning. Say to maid. Hmm. No. You know what? We're not going to. Uh, okay. Open the plane door. Go west. We're in the pantry. Go east. And east. You go east in the dining room. Open dining room door. Then go north. There we go. It's a plush sofa. Let's get a more detailed in. So we've got uh, west to the south dining room. Okay, so north, open heavy door, now north, I can't go north, west, we're in the entrance hall, let's go south, we're in the long passage below is a wide stairway, the south there is Daphne's door, to the west there is the wooden door. Open wooden door. Open the wooden door. Let's go west. You're in the brown steady. To the east there is the wooden door. To the northeast there is the side door. You can see a large desk. Examine desk. The blotting pad is indeed empty on the desk. Open drawer. You open the drawer. Examine drawer. You see the drawer. Closely examine drawer. You closely examine the drawer. You see that the drawer Carefully, examination shows that the drawer has a false bottom. Well, look at that then. It's a false bottom. This game is all over the place. There's no way you can do without a walkthrough. Open false bottom. Open the false bottom. Look. In the large desk, there is the drawer. In the drawer, there is a false bottom. Under the false bottom, there are a bank account book and a note. Examine book. You examine the bank account book. While the balance in the account is very high, the entries in the book indicate that substantial and regular withdrawals have been made. It's all about the money. I said it minutes ago. The account name is Mrs. Brown. Okay, examine, note. 
The note reads, I have some news of vital importance that I would like to discuss with you at your convenience. Signed, Tresham Fender. Okay, let's go east, long passage, and then north. Let's open the large door. North, 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 north. The local policeman, we're going to go east at this stage and east again, which takes us to the Joneses front gate. And there's a nice picture. Okay, now it's time to go somewhere else. And I think this time to the Jones house. So south, you go south. You're at the Joneses front door. To the south there is the front door and you can go north. And Watson's with you. Open, front door. The front door is now open and let's go south. You are in the Joneses entrance hall. To the north there is the front door. To the southeast there is the dining room. To the west there is the sitting room door. Above there is the stairwell. Open sitting room door. Open sitting room door. West it is. You are now in the sitting room. To the south there is a solid door. To the east there is a sitting room door. Watson has entered. Open solid door. You open the solid door. South. You are in the library. To the west there is a bookcase. To the north there is a solid door. You can see a blood stained sofa. On the sofa there is a body. Well, well, well. Examine body. You examine the body. You see the body of a woman who was shot in the head. The face is now mutilated beyond recognition. So it could be anybody then. So, closely examine bookcase. You closely examine the bookcase. You see a bookcase. As you run your hands over the books, you touch a hidden spring and with a lot of creaking, the bookcase swings away from the wall, revealing a small room behind. Well, that's fab, isn't it? So now we can go west. You go west. And we're going to get a graphic. You are in a small room. To the east there is a bookcase. You can see some blood-stained clothes. Closely examine clothes. You closely examine the blood-stained clothes. They are labelled Trisha Fender. Of course, adults label their clothes. Come on! Get clothes. Let's go east. North. Everyone's saying good morning. Let's wait. So, they've gone into the library. Which is south. Right, so, here we go. Everyone says good afternoon. Let's go north back in the sitting room. So he closes the door. He's carrying money. We got Straker and Major Percival. Right then. So, wait. Inspector Lestrade remarks, I would like you to remain here, please. Goes through the sitting room door. It's 
look. Say to Major, hello. We open a solid door. Let's see. Say to Watson, follow me. Let's go north. I can. Ah. South. You're in a library. There's the body. Right. Opens the sitting room door. Look. Okay. And that is east. Door. North. Front door. North again. Front gate. Go west. The main street. We've got Percival and, and um, Watson with us. South. Cobden Lane. And then south again. You're in the small lane. To the east there is the black gate. To the west there is a thick hedge. You can go north. Open back gate. You open the back gate. Let's go east. You're in the small yard. To the north there is the back door. Open back door. Let's go north. You're in Basil's kitchen. To the west, there is a plain door. To the south, there is the back door. Open plain door. Let's go west then. You are in a lounge. To the west, there is the sitting room door. To the east, there is a plain door. Right. Open sitting room. room door. Open the sitting room door. Okay. The sitting room door is now open. West. We're in the entrance hall. Above. So we go up the stairwell. And we have a lovely picture of a piano. You in our large, lavishly decorated bedroom. A broad window overlooks a small lane leading north. Below there is the stairway. To the east there is the window. You can see Basil's bed, Basil's piano, a gramophone and the window. Closely examine bed. The bed is unmade and one sheet is crumpled up on top. In one corner of the sheet is a very small tear. Closely examine window. A very small piece of cloth is caught on the window frame. So someone got out through the window. <sighs> Closely examine gramophone. Gramophone. On the record, no, it's a record of Chopin nocturnes. Now, 
Old Basil said he was playing Chopin. What really happened, he put a record on, got his cloth, his bed sheet, out the window. He snagged it on the window. That's where we are so far. Closely examine. Piano. You closely examine the piano. The music on the piano is Baroque, not Chopin. So, he's a liar. He's guilty, I tell you. Okay, so, he's obviously lying. Let's go down. Let's open the front door. Go west. Let's go north. We're in Main Street. North again. We're at Leatherhead Station. Let's go north once more. Leatherhead Platform 1. North. Where are we now? Another station should be Platform 2. The Strad is here. Lestrade says, hello. Watson says to Lestrade, good afternoon. And says to Watson, hello. So what we're going to say now is, say to Lestrade, the Major is innocent. What proof do you have? Now, we've got to get back to London, and the train's not due for another five minutes. Let's wait. There's a train. Climb on train. Hmm. Climb into train. Watson's it. Brilliant. So, we've got to get all the way back to King's Cross. Let's wait. The train pulls out of the station and you are in a steam train with Inspector Lestrade and Watson. And you are riding in a steam train through the picturesque English countryside. Fab. Wait. 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 Oh my god. Wait. Wait. So this should be about 4.30. We're nearly there. Come on, King's Cross Station. Finally, you're in a steam train with Inspector Lestrade, okay? We're at King's Cross Station at Platform 4. Exit a southwest. So, climb out of train and then southwest. Platform 3, southwest. Platform 2, again, southwest. Platform 1, southwest. And I think for the last time, southwest, we'll follow the strad. 
So we're on King's Cross Road. Visible exits are northeast. You can see Lestrade. Lestrade hails the handsome cab. Inspector Lestrade says, Well, can you prove that Major Percival Folks is innocent yet, Holmes? The cabby remarks to Lestrade, Hello, Governor. Lestrade climbs into the handsome cab. Let's wait and let his cab go. He went, go to Parliament Street. Right, that's where he's going. Right. Let's hail a cab. You hail a cab. Climb into cab. Say to cabby. Hello. Right. Say to Watson. Climb out of cab. Watson's gone. Say to cabby. Go to. Sidmouth Street. Oh. And we're off. The sun is shining through the windows on our face. We're going to wait until we get to Sidmouth Street. The cabby remarks, right, Governor, that'll be 2D. Give money to cabby. Right. Inventory. Oh dear. So I don't think I've got any money for the cabbie. Look, open heavy oak door. Let's go northwest. So I've just stitched the cabbie, which is a bit irritating because I had many not so long ago. Anyway, he called me a bloody snob and, and we're off. So we went north, wait, so we wait. We're gonna go southeast, at Sidmouth Street, and we're gonna wear Chinaman's disguise. You wear the Chinaman's disguise. Right, now we're gonna hail a cab. Cabby says, the Chinaman, hello, governor. Climb into cab. Right. Wait. So we've got to wait now until nine. Right. 
let's wait until 10. We're on Sidmouth Street. <clears throat> We're still waiting, 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 waiting. My God, we're waiting. Cabby's gone. <clears throat> waiting. More waiting. More waiting. This is ridiculous. Wait. Let's wait till nine o'clock. God, we're still here. Come back. <laughs> 